Even this really bill that did not pass yesterday is fatally defective. It cannot, in fact, implement the two-third gender principle. Why? Number one, it seeks to defer implementation to 2020. After the next 2022, after the next election, that presupposes that parliament as it is now is constitutional. We are passing this law to, to regularize the illegality in this parliament. Yet this bill talks about 2022. So what will cover for this illegality? That bill will not ca cover or cure the current deficit in parliament, which means parliament will remain unconstitutional for the duration of its term. Number two, even if you reach 2022, the bill has no clear formula of ensuring that at all material time, the two-third gender threshold is achieved. It talks about nomination, gradual nomination. So you'll get some progressive increment of women until such a time, maybe after 10 more years from 2022, you have a full threshold. It doesn't assure Kenyans that even in that 2022, you'll have a full house. So it, it's defective now, it doesn't, it doesn't cure the, the present problem, and even in 2022, it will not cure the problem. But you know there was fatigue, and people said, let them just pass the bill first. We will have to find out what to do with the bill, or how to innovate, to renovate the bill after it has been passed. So this bill is itself, sadly so, a bill that is defective so fatally that it cannot achieve the two-third general threshold as, as, at, as at of now.